sorry I am late. You are all amazing, very patient viewers, except Chili and Max Voltage and everyone else. Crypto Shaped, you are all horrible. Welcome, guys. Thank you for being here. Smash the like button. Happy Sunday to all of you. Hope you're having a great start to your day if it's morning afternoon evening welcome to the live stream good morning iowa crypto mining how are you man how are you max i love you too man most of the time tech man geek of all trades hey i was letting you take your sweet time totally worth the wait <laughs> uh I had to make my coffee and then I had to feed my kid and then I opened up my stream labs and I wasn't logged into my right account. I was logged into my Twitch account and then I was like, oh crap. And then I had to get my, oh, I had to do all this stuff. Oh, it's just horrible. Anyways, what are we doing today? I think we are, well, we got Chili here from Octominer. If you guys haven't noticed on my screen here, uh, we are going to be looking at a new product, mainly tended towards the flux proof of useful work. Well, and I believe this can be used for other, not just for flux, but for other <sighs> compute methods out there. People have talked about vast AI, uh, you know, maybe you want to use it on other GPU rental, cloud rendering, what have you services out there. Uh, this is called the Octo Server. Okay, E10 X99-2. Um, so I got a couple of screenshots here. So this I believe this is the this is this is actually the front. No, no, yeah, yeah. This is the front, so you can see it's a typical 19-inch um, wide server. Okay, 19-inch wide server, and uh, you can fit it in a typical server rack. Uh, uh, Chili is here; he can correct me on this. But it's a you know typical server in which you can rack mount onto a typical uh, server rack, right? So. Uh, it looks like it has two USB ports. Uh, d disclaimer, you know, things can change. Um, I'm going to go through the numbers, the uh, the si uh, the uh, spec CPUs, uh, the RAM it comes with, power supplies, hard drive, uh, all that kind of stuff. We'll go through that in a second. So here's when you open up the front. Okay, and uh, interesting thing to notice right away is that there is a the power supplies are tended towards the front here you guys can see and there's uh looks like the c13 to c14 power cables going towards the back i found that to be interesting okay so they're hot swappable uh just like the octominer uh server cases it looks like they have the hot swappable like 1200 watt psus in the front <clears throat> that's pretty cool that's pretty interesting okay so um, then there's uh, 10 2.5 inch SSD hard drive bays. Okay. Um, the power. So I'm just reading the spec sheet here. So the power will be, uh, in case people are wondering, power supplies can be 4,200 watts combined or 5,400 watts. 
so there's different power supply configurations so if i just can whip out the calculator here so i'm assuming 1200 watt you know typical 4800 okay so what oh these might be the dell uh these might be dell power supplies okay nope so maybe 1350 times four so there's a 5400 watt configuration so there's 1350 watt pot swappable power supplies and then the 4200 watt i should just divide it by four is a thousand fifty so i'm assuming these are like dell uh maybe some sort of dell power supplies something like that um but interesting interesting okay so going along patrick murphy i hate you <laughs> get out of here all right next screenshot all right so this is uh this is the front um, still more shots of the front but then it goes all the way this is uh i don't know how long this is um let's see there's a is there any numbers for that nope there's no numbers for how long it is typical server you know uh, okay next screenshot um okay top top shot of it all right it's, it's pretty long right looks pretty looks pretty cool okay going along uh chili we have dimensions uh i don't think people care about dimensions it's okay chili it's okay all right this is the this is the cool shot here right this is the internals okay so we did show so the front of the server case octo server is in the front here okay uh so the the four power supplies were at the bottom as you guys can see right here uh can you guys see what i'm seeing yes you can okay so uh the 2.5 inch hard drive bays were at the top here uh ssds and looks like there are some fan modules uh these are definitely hot swappable or no module module modular that's the term modular uh fans looks like you can take these out by it's very similar to other you know server style servers you can take out the fans swap them out that's pretty cool looks like chili has put in the dimensions in the live chat thank you thank you chili uh chili yeah is this uh geek of all trades says looks like a four you yeah is this a four you or a five you or a six you I, I think i think you guys did talk about there being different height uh servers mainly tended towards gpus that were bigger like 3090s 3080s well we'll get to the gpu specs you guys are probably wondering what the size of gpus can fit in here so we're we're, we're, we're gonna get we're gonna get in get into that um uh looks like looks like a 27 20 27 inch deep chili uh chili it's a uh, 42 70 centimeter i don't know what that what's that in inches uh my racks are 34 inch deep <laughs> Yeah, my, my server rack is, is not is not that deep either, but it's just going to sit outside a bit more. <coughs> um, okay. So then the next part is the motherboard. Okay, so um, it looks like, okay, it looks, if we go in closer, it looks like that this backplane, this, this looks like the the power supply backplane here so it looks like there is some type of uh like what do you call these types of like what is this sort of like daughter expansion hot swappable board of some sort that extends the power supply then towards the uh the expansion uh pcie uh board over here and it looks like the motherboard itself with the xeon Xeon processor and four slots of RAM here. Okay. But there are 10 8X, all right, eight, eight lane PCIe slots. 10 of them. Okay. And a 19 inch wide server rack, uh, server case. So do not expect to fit 3090s in here, stock 3090s, unless you had some sort of custom made heat sink or something that could fit between these uh from what i gather it's you're gonna be fitting 3070s and below actually there are some 3070s that are pretty wide so there's a couple of aib branded 3070s that are probably not going to fit in here you're probably going to look at like the uh 
uh, blower style, like Asus turbos, but something like the Aorus 3070s, they're pretty wide, they aren't going to fit in here. I don't know, Asus Tough or Strix cards will not fit in here. Uh, the, yeah. Okay. Uh, passive cards, yeah. B B Bitcap Tom, oh, what's up, Mr. Bitcap Tom? Yeah, passive cards, exactly. Um, it's made for A4000s, yeah, so A-series GPUs will definitely fit in here, A2000s, A4000s. Uh, actually, yeah, the A5000s are, are thin, thinner, dual slotted, will fit in here, it looks like, one, two. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, the, the dual uh, PCIe slots here, right there, right? Looks like you can fit a standard two DIN, two slotted GPU. Nothing more. You cannot go any higher than that. Otherwise, you're going to hit the next GPU. <coughs> I actually have eight Asus Turbos 3070s, but they only have eight gigs of RAM. Okay, so that here's... Okay, so here's the thing. I have a, a bit of a question about regarding the RAM, because I know there's been a lot of talk about the requirements of proof of useful work and the flux and the, the RAM requirements. So if you have like, let's say eight gigabytes or no, yeah, eight gigabyte GPU, Apparently you need to times that by four, and and that and that's what you need for the uh, for the um, onboard memory for the motherboard memory, not the VRAM. So we're talking about eight gigs of VRAM on a single 3070, and you had to times it by four. Apparently, so what if you had ten times ten, ten 3070s? That would be eight, 80 gigabytes of VRAM, but then you need to times that by four, and that and then you'll need about 320 gigabytes of uh, motherboard memory. So is that, it, th that's, that's what I've heard. We don't know the exact specs, but that's, uh, that's what I've heard. You know, um, chili, chili, uh, uh, um, which, de uh, chili, which demo am I getting? Which demo? You don't need four. Okay. Project Mayhem. Oh my god, is this an actual flex account? You don't need four. Okay. For you heights. Okay, nice. Minimal RAM is 1.2. Minimum. Ron Watkins. Minimum RAM is 1.25x VRAM. Okay, so 80 gigabyte VRAM times 1.25. That would be. Okay, so you had 100 gigabytes of motherboard memory. That that would be good enough. Uh, Gave me a smoky down. Thought was said to be double plus twenty five percent. Okay, well, Gave me a smoky down. What kind of what kind of saying is that? <laughs> uh, okay. Anyways, anyways, let me go through the specs now. Let me go through the specs. Okay. Um, we're gonna need to. I can type this out. I can type this out. Let, let me. Let me. All right. So okay. So chili, you're gonna need to. You're gonna need to. Okay. So there's okay. So there's gonna be two different value series models to in the beginning here. Okay. All right. <clears throat> um. Okay. Let me go through specs, and we'll talk about the 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 variables later. Well, we don't honestly we don't know until actual the actual benchmarks come out. All right. So we don't. Uh, we don't we don't actually know um, Not value servers e10 is one step above that. Okay. 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 I'll take out the I'll take out I'll just two different two different models. Okay, so we got the octo octo server uh, This is the model name. All right, can, can, can I put the model name? Can I put the model name out here? Chili can I can I can I say that? All right, I'm putting the model name x99 2 and then we got the Octo server E10 X X99-2. Okay? So these are the two models. Now you guys are probably wondering about specs, all right? So let me let me let me let me talk about specs, okay? So the first this one has 2x 62698 V3 Xeons, okay? 
uh, with the 4200 watt uh, PSU. Okay. Um, one comes with a one TB SSD and 96 gigabytes of RAM. All right, so that's the first one. The E10. <coughs> the E10. <coughs> the E10 is uh, 2x 2698. Um. Uh, Chili, uh, the specs I'm providing are mainly for Flux version of the E10. The value series has high MOQ and so not worth mentioning. Okay. All right, this is, uh, okay, so this one, this Octo server t it, it is high MOQ. All right, so this is not one that you're probably not gonna, you're, but this one, the E10 is the more consumer MOQ one. Okay, so, all right, all right, that makes sense. Xeons, this one's 5,400 watt power supply. Okay, two TB SSD and 128 gigabytes of RAM. <clears throat> okay. Uh, E10, no MOQ. Okay. No MOQ. All right. I'll put that in. Just people. Cool. Okay. All right. So those are the two. Um, Boris, where's the other CPU? That is a great question. Chili, where's the other, <laughs> where's the other CPU? That's... You know what? I just realized that. It is, I'm assuming there's going to be a board. It says the E10 X99 here. Yeah, where's the other CPU? Beneath the riser. Beneath the riser board. Project Mayhem. Beneath the riser board. Here. Over here. Okay. Interesting. That's interesting. That's cool. Okay, so it's over here somewhere. Beneath the riser board? Oh, wait, over here. Oh, the riser board. Ah, sorry. Yeah, man, I got that mixed up. The PCIe board, you mean? Yeah, okay. Right here. Oh, interesting. Sec, I'm looking at picks. <laughs> Chili? Okay. That's. That. Wow, this must be really high then. Yeah, you know what? You're right. You're right. You're right. Because I see the IO. Look at this. The IO for ethernet usb all that stuff is right here so yeah the, the 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 other cpu must be down here yeah you're right you're right you're right if wait if this is for you that's gonna this this has to be like five u or six u like look how look how look how high this is there's no way if this was like if the xeon processor was below that the riser board would be like Yeah, 5U at least, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, interesting, interesting. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is, uh, this is not for you. I don't think this is for you, just... It just feels like... Higher than, it feels higher than that. Uh, Chili says, uh, I can't find the clear shot of the CPU. I will request it. Okay, man. Sweet. Okay. Um, so now you guys may ask some, some people may ask red panel. What about what's the pricing? Okay. So, uh, I, okay. So I can only give a range here. All right. This E10 is between... 18, I can give a range, 1800 to 2200, there you go, that's the range. Uh, am I allowed to give the range for the other one? Chili? Hello, Chili. Not right now. Okay, I won't. I won't. All right. So, 
how much are 2698 v3s right now if you were to go to ebay i kind of want to i want to price out some things here how, how much is this is, v3 xeon is that the ddr4 platform is that ddr4 right ddr4 memory from the motherboard v3 is ddr4 yes okay nice 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 uh, 33,266 each G CPU. Zach Eberly, I don't, th I'm pretty sure that's like MSRP. I don't think anyone sells those CPUs for that much right now. <laughs> uh, max voltage. Where did the GPU PCIe power cables plug into? That's a great question, Max. Um, well, there's one, two, three, four. It looks like eight pinned... PCIe going into the riser board, but oh, yeah, you're right. Where, where? I'm pretty sure, Max, the PCIe are right here. They're on the middle, in the middle here. Like you plug in your typical, um, like veteran miner cable, or just like you know parallel miner six pin to whatever eight pin cable here. I'm assuming. Uh, Chili, the RAM is DDR4 ECC 2133 megahertz. All right, you know that's that's good to put in. That's good. To put in. DDR4, ECC, 2133 megahertz. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, he's talking, Ron Watkins, he's talking about where the GPU PCIe is located. GPUs with PCIe on top won't fit. Oh, you're talking about, you're right, the height. <clears throat> you're right. Yeah, that's right. PCIe GPUs at the top won't fit. Chili, what? That's right. Look at that. Look how close the PCIe the this is. Like your, your typical like actually, yeah. A lot of 3070s won't fit in here because they're actually a lot higher than this. The PCIe part. Oh my god. I just well, yeah, you're right. Just by looking at it, that's not going to work. That's not going to fit. Like only the lower style uh, like A2000s or A4000s or the GPUs that have, uh, you know, where the PCIe slot is, those heighted GPUs will only fit. That's, wow, okay. What is the height limitation of the case in relation to the PCIe expansion? Do we need to have to run standard height GPUs? Uh, Boinker, ju we just, just by looking at it, it looks like standard height AIB GPUs, will, I don't think they will... I don't think they will fit, but Chili Chili needs to get uh, Chili needs to find more uh, some more screenshots of the height. I think. <clears throat> PCIe power for card has to go from the back. Top power cards will not work. No room. Right. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Looking at just just by looking at this. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you're right. You're right. A four thousands, A two thousands. I I think it's meant for those. <laughs> it's meant for those. Well, wait. The A four thousand. Where's the A four thousand PCIe? Uh, RTX A four thousand. Where Where's the PCIe uh, for that one? At the top or the back? That's at the back, isn't it? A A4000s in the rear. Yep, yep, yep. A4000s. A4000 PCIe's in the back. Yep. A5000s in the rear. Okay, so all the A series GPUs are in the back. Retro Mike, LED Tech 3070 turbos are in the are in the rear too. Uh I have the Asus Turbo 3070s and they're in the back as well. Thank God. So any 
Any GPU that has the top facing PCIe will not fit. Th those those will not fit. Ah, that's that's too bad. <clears throat> Ron Watkins, I'm running A4000 and HP servers with power at the rear. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> rear PCI, uh, Big Cat Top, rear PCIe and two slot. Yes, yeah, all right, right. That looks like that's the configuration for the, for this, uh, for this server. Ah, uh, I see, I see, I see, I see. For you, I'm trying to think. Oh, I, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna look up a typical for you height server. Just like, I just want to like. All right, here's an Asrock. Uh, open link in the new tab. Open image in the new tab. Okay, so here's something from Newegg. This is a for you shot from Newegg. <clears throat> hmm. Wait, Chili did put the specs in the chat. Chili, Chili did put the specs in the chat. Where's Chili? The, 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 the. the. Hmm. Geppetto, red pen running. What about 3060M and 3070M? Uh, the, e, the PCIe is at the top, I believe. Uh, let's go to YouTube. Uh, come on. 3060M. Okay. Uh, there. <laughs> top. They're at the top. They're at the top. Thirty sixty, thirty seventy M's are at the top. Oh. Uh, 10 GPU, Gen 3 X8, PCIe, 41 by 310 by 160 GPU max dimensions. Okay, so let's go to Asus 3070. Uh, let's just, I don't know, let's Asus Dual with this. Uh, what's the spec? Uh, let's go to... X specs. Where's the GPU dimension? Here, dimensions. Okay. Uh, what did Chili say? What did Chili say? Uh, where did Chili? Okay, I'm gonna copy this, copy that. We're gonna go back to here. Gonna put that into here. Okay, so. Uh, this is in millimeter. Oh my god, Asus has it in inches or centimeters. God damn it. Ch Someone convert. Someone convert for me. <laughs> god. What? Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know freedom units. I don't know freedom units either. <laughs> uh, Goddamn freedom units. Freedom loving mother effers. All you Americans and your freedom units. <laughs> uh, Max, just move the decimal. Oh. So one point, okay. 
16, so that's not going to work. Thir that's not going to work. That's not going to work. It won't fit. Yeah. Geek of all trades. Thank you. 1.6 inch. God, freaking. It's, uh, okay. Uh, oh my God. Asus. Okay. Or what? God, why is it? Why do you guys? I hate it so much. I, I hate it. X. Okay. There. There. This is what Asus copying Asus here. Inches. So 1.6 inch two versus 2.05. So this Asus dual is not going to fit. 5.31. Uh, 6.3. That'll fit. And then the length 10.51 to 12.2. The length is fine. It's the... What's this part? Uh, Asus dual is larger than two slot. Oh, this is the, uh, this is the P this is the slot size, the width size. Okay. So that's not going to fit. The Asus dual will not fit. Ah, uh, ah, uh, man. So it's, 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 this is the issue. This is the issue right here. This part, this part right here, it needs to be flush. It needs to be flush with the uh, PCIe slot. <coughs> Ron Watkins, remove the shroud. Well, yeah, true, true, true. Geek of all trades, founders might work with all that 12 pin pigtail adapter thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Ron Watkins, Ron, you're right. You, you might have to just take apart all the shrouds, take all the shrouds off. <clears throat> okay. Yep. Max voltage. PCB is still too high to fit in the case, right? Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. This part here, this part right here, even though if you take off the shroud, that won't fit. Right here, right? Boris, I'm gonna go back. <laughs> uh, Retro Mike, what CFM on the fans in the case? Uh, I'm not quite sure. That will be a good, that will be a chilly question. Okay, um, Chili wanted me to announce, I forgot, uh, there is a Octominer X8 sale right now, $150 off, it ends in June 12th, so you got another week or so until the sale ends for the X8 Ultra Plus, and if you want to order, if you guys are looking to order Octominers, X12s, there's, they are $200 off. Uh, use coupon code X12ULTRA-200. And I feel like the code RPM will also work as well. <laughs> Can you stack, Chili? Can you stack coupons? Okay, Chili's, Chili's getting a dump here. Uh, 4X16 slots get bifurcated on the back plane to, X8, uh, to 8 of the X8 slots. Then you have two pieces 8x native slots that get routed to the gpu backplane oh, let me let me let me type that in here okay all right <clears throat> um uh okay uh the slots the slots on the main board X16, 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 X8, 80 PCIe lanes which reroutes to the GPU. Wait, I, need, I need to copy this. Chat keeps going. Uh, 80 PCIe lanes which reroutes to the GPU backplane above to 10 GPUs which we have all PCIe 3.0 X8 electrical link. Okay. Yep. Yep, all X, X8. PCIe 
Gen 3 X8. Okay. New England crypto. None of that matters if the GPUs don't fit. Well, no offense, Chili. I am so confused. Yeah, well, that, yeah. So, judging by this... Okay, wait. So, I think I'm... Chili is sending one of these to me next week. So, I'll be able to open it up and I have a bunch of different range heighted gpus i can just try and fit them in and then we can see what it looks like <laughs> it, but it sounds like these it sounds like this version is meant for like gpus that are rear uh, uh like an a series gpus with the rear pcie power um dual slotted you can't be any higher you can't be any wider than two slot or else it's just gonna hit the other one um i i have asus turbos um let's see asus turbo 3070 i know gun yeah these are the one i have uh a3070 mine shop yeah, I don't know if my video will show up here or not but I bought a whole bunch of those man my videos do not rank oh there we go don't watch this video if you're looking for GPUs for mining oh my god this was two years ago <laughs> snap oh yeah oh yeah so these wait is the power rear facing here hold on Oh my god, do not- Oh yes they are, thank god. Yes, okay, my Asus Turbos are two 8 pins. So these will hopefully fit. Oh my god. Alright. Travelers, travelers, if they would move storage bays up, they could extend MOBO to the rear, allowing GPU board drop down more room. Uh, Chili, we will for sure get our team on an AMA when we launch them, Panna. I know this this is one day after Flux showed images, just so you know that. Yes, yeah, I know. Yes. Flux showed their um They showed their own their own uh, pictures and stuff too. So, I mean, yeah. I mean once we get it, I guess we can see which GPUs are gonna fit in here. Uh, but yeah, this the height does look like a potential issue for anyone that has anything higher than the, you know the height or the width. The width, right? So you might have we might have to take off the shrouds. So we'll see. We'll see. Geek of all trades. Hello. I'm. Ch we need final specs right now. Yes, right now. Yes. Project Mayhem, only blower style will fit. Yeah, then that's... That's going to not be a lot of people. <laughs> Unfortunately, not a lot of people will have blower style. Uh, I got lucky enough to have some blower styles, but... Um, that means I need two more. I need two more of these. I need two more blower Asus turbos. Okay, I'm going to go find some. <clears throat> that's sweet though okay but that's cool that's a cool looking sir this is really nice this is really nice um can't wait to test it out can't wait to test it out that's gonna be sick and i guess we don't really know we don't really know um i know we talked about the specs but we don't know exactly once the flux uh the flux proof of useful work benchmarking comes out like actually comes out and then like you know, we don't actually know if this this setup here is going to be good or not. I'm sure it's going to be good, but it, you know, compared to, let's say, people with their home gaming PCs or just, you know, older mining motherboards with the 3X PCIe uh, X16 slots, like, and then people upgrade them to, like, i7s or i5s or something, and then, like, only put three 3090s and then... You know, people upgrade the RAM to 128 gigabytes or whatever, and then it's like, you know, I don't know. You know, it's, we don't know. We're, we, we, we don't know yet until it actually comes out. Uh, and people start benchmarking and stuff. 
chump change diablo 4 when N i'm chump change that game seriously max voltage uh could use pcie extenders and leave the top off to fit in the cards <laughs> uh i mean yeah it could defeat the purpose though <laughs> Patrick Murphy, you guys are terrible. You guys are horrible. We're not leaving the top off, all right? Jeez, <laughs> uh, just terrible. Just terrible. Um, okay. I... So, there are... Um, let's see... Uh, hold on. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, oh, Chum Change says, I don't, I don't understand why not making it bigger to begin with. Um, like, you mean height wise? Because the CPU, uh, you see the CPU under the riser board? Uh, you can see here, look, you can see the I.O. USB Ethernet is all under the riser board here. So they had to take in consideration of the height of all that stuff here, plus the power supply, the SSDs, etc, etc. But I think you're, you're talking about the height of the server. Yeah, that's one thing I, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Like maybe they could have made it like a four or five, I could have made a five U or six U. Right, but then that becomes that becomes a potential issue of just like I don't know logistics of shipping a larger product. You know, cost a lot more, um, more costs. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Not quite sure. Anyways, okay, guys, that's that's all we wanted to do today. Um, uh, anyone looking for Okta miners, feel free. You can read this uh, server cases, so feel free to do that. Stackable with other discount codes. Oh, well, use code RP. Is it RPM or Red Pen? I, I don't know. If you guys are deciding to buy Okta miners, link down below. Diablo is overrated. It really is. It really is. <sighs> um, even if it's six U, you cannot fit normal GPUs. I'm pretty sure if you add, if you can, if you did 6U, you would be able to add uh, higher GPUs for sure. The, the issue is the higher, um, the higher heighted GPUs. Um, yes, 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 yes. Chili, is there anything else you would like me to announce? Is there anything else, man? Let me know. Any other specs, any other fun stuff you'd like me to talk about? Starcraft is king, 100%, 100%. Just, yeah, guys, I, everyone's all excited about this, you know, the proof of useful work thing. But honestly, just just wait till we see benchmarks and stuff. And, you know, uh, I know, you know, there's a lot of people looking into getting into this right now. And so just, uh, you know, just, just, just wait, just wait, okay? Chili says this week we'll post 100% final specs. Okay, sweet, sweet. The so specs can change. All right, the specs that we just talked about can change. Okay, um, uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, oh, Project Mayhem. Uh, there's no competition, so you can charge whatever. But I can tell you right now, I can build the same specs at less than 500 USD. Huh. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, well, you're kind of, you're kind of the the power supply configuration is. I don't think you're gonna make that. I don't think you can make your own like that. It's gonna be something different, obviously. I mean, you're not gonna get the back plane, the PCIe. You're not gonna get. For, for 500 bucks, you're not going to find a PCIe backplane that can do 10 GPUs 
Um, you're not gonna find. Uh, I mean, you're gonna have to do it. You're gonna have to do it externally with like you know, parallel miner breakout boards, and then like spaghetti all over the place. You know that that type of thing. <clears throat> I guess this is this is gonna be meant. This is gonna be tended towards um, enterprise people. People that can get A4000s for cheaper in bulk, you know? <laughs> or unless you're like Chump Change XD who has like hundreds of uh, 16 A4000s. I think he has a hunt. I think he has a whole bunch of A4000s. Right, Chump Change? No? <laughs> uh, no, only one. Ah. Oh. Okay. All right, bros, any questions in the chat? Any questions in the chat? Smash that like. Would the CMP50HX work on this? Uh, by the looks of it, no. It will not fit because the PCIe is at the top. It would have to be done in another method. Hard for crypto, release dates. I believe... Uh, Chili will be the one to answer that. Chili, Chili can answer that. I think he said next week he's gonna release. They're gonna release the specs. Project Mayhem 50HX is only PCIe X1, so not good for proof of use or work. Uh, yeah, but yeah, maybe. Yep. Just like the other CMP cards. Actually, I knew that was the case on the P series uh, X1. They were X1. I'm, I, I don't know if the CMP cards, the newer ones are X1s. That, you know what? That's a good one to confirm. The... 38x and 48x I saw they had display out so I don't know if those ones were x ones well that I can confirm later we can confirm later I gotta go build some monitors on computer hey Raven boy crypto have a good one um looks like mining youtubers can make content out of custom made proof of use or work server cases yeah Uh, Henry J New York, how are the new PDUs holding up? Uh, Henry, yeah, they're good, man. They're good. I'm using one right now. So far, so good. Yeah. Uh, Rude puts. I forgot to read your thing. Thank you for becoming a member for oh, 17 months. Project Mayhem. That's the second name of the channel. Rich, rich. Well, <laughs> Rude puts. Rude puts. I love it. I love it. Crypto shapes never. New England crypto. If you have a minute after stream, I wanted to. I wanted to. Ty for something. Uh, New, New England crypto. Uh, yeah, yeah, no problem, man. I, I do have to. I do have to go after this. But uh, all right, all right. Who's uh, who is streaming after me? Who's streaming after me? Who wants to be rated? Chump change. Are you rating? Are you playing? Wait, is uh, rabid mining going after me? What's rabid mining talking about? Hold on, let me go find it. Ah, Flux, Octominer, Proof of Use Work, Rig Specs. Ah, he's going to talk about the exact same thing. Ah, man. Look at this guy. Rabid Mining. Always talking about the same thing I am. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. All right. Ah. Uh... Boris. Uh, Geek of all trades is going live. Oh, all right. I'm talking to Coinbase. All right, let's let's go to Geek of all trades. Hell yeah, Geek of all. I haven't rated you yet, Goat. 
Hell yeah, man. Let's raid you. Let me put that in my thing. Um, customization, add. There we go. Save. All right, I'll raid you, man. Everyone will go to you right now. Right now. Let's go. Beginner's block. Thanks for the great content. Thanks, man. Thanks for being. Thanks for coming by. All right, bros. Thanks so much. I will see you all. Have a great day. Um, as for the Octaminers, here's the summer sale if you guys are interested, as well as um, I guess once I receive one of these Octo servers for you know proof of use and work, that will hopefully be I think next week or two. Then that will be uh, something we can confirm later on, guys. That's going to be a lot of fun. All right, peace out, guys. Peace out. Peace out, peace out, peace out. See y'all in the video tomorrow.